Hello again, so we have reached exercise 16, which is to check whether two arrays contain the same number of prime numbers. So we need to write a function prime that checks whether a number is prime or not. And then we need to, so we'll use uh, some of the previously written functions, like the read array function, to read the two arrays and then to check whether uh, these two arrays contains the same number of uh, uh, prime numbers. So let's start. So I will keep the uh, older uh, uh, functions. So read dimension, read array, display array. Maybe we'll be using it uh, later on. So I will write a function called uh, prime. So it takes a prime number. So it's prime. It takes a number and checks whether this n is prime or not. So it will return one if the n is a prime. Otherwise, it will return zero. So a number is not prime if it can be divided by any number between two and uh, the square root of uh, n. So we'll be looping. So already done that, solve that in uh, in previous exercises. So we'll start from i equal to two, i less or equal to square root of uh, n and i plus plus. And if i divides uh, uh, i divides n so i will return zero because i just i don't need to loop uh, infinitely to check whether uh, the prime uh, the number is not prime and if i finish the loop and i didn't return zero it means that the number is prime so we just need to check that we have the math.h function library here because we are using the square root so this is for prime so we need to uh, 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 read two arrays so we'll be using uh, the read dimension and read array so I will just copy uh, this prototypes because I'll be using here so read dimension so I'll so both array should be of the same uh, size or it could be different so let's say we have s1 s2 t1 and t2 so I'll be calling read dimension of s1 so I don't need that. And then we have the read array. So it's void. So it's T1 and S1. So we have read the first array. And then we need to do the same for the second array. So then we have a question is that we need to count the number of prime numbers. So we need to write a function or we can uh, write it in main. However, we will write a function. So uh, I should uh, print out the number of uh, uh, to see whether uh, both arrays contains the same number of uh, prime numbers. So let's say we have SNPN, a function called same number of prime numbers. So it will take two arrays. So in T1, you could uh, let's name it A just to say that T1 it will be equal to a and we have the number of elements of a and we have int b and the number of element of b so we need to loop over a and count the number of prime numbers so we need i we need two counters c1 and c2 so c1 is the number of prime numbers in a and c2 is the number of prime numbers in b so I will loop over a, so i less than n1, i plus plus, and I need to check, so I will be calling the function is prime. So if is prime, so this one, of a of i, so if each element, so I will check, so if it's prime, I will increment c1. And I will do the same for the array uh, b. So again, I will be using i, however, here the counter is equal to uh, n2. And if it's equal to B, I will count. So at the end, I need to check whether C1 is equal to 2, C2. So we can directly write C1 is equal equal to C2. So it means that this one, if C1 is equal equal to C2, return 1. Else, return 0. So if, you, if it's very difficult for you to see that it's, a, it's an equality, so it returns either 0 or 1. It's a test, it's a boolean, so if it's equal, it returns 1. Otherwise, it will return 0. So I just need to, to, to call this function. So let's say print f. So uh, a number, uh, so same number of primes equal percentage d backslash n and we'll just call the snpn function so here we have t1 because this is the first array and its size is equal to s1 and the second one is t2 and the uh, fourth parameter is s2 
So let's run and check if it will work. So this is the first uh, array. So let's say we have just three elements. Oh, let's rerun. <laughs> so let's say we have three elements. Uh, let's say 7, 11, and 6. So we have here two prime numbers. Let's say we have here 4. And let's say we have 9. So 9 is not a prime number. 5 is a prime number. 3 and 10. So yes, we have two, no two prime numbers here and two prime numbers here. And yes, they have the same number of prime uh, numbers. So, and this is it for this exercise. If you have any uh, questions, do not hesitate to write to me and I will answer you uh, back. And again, thanks for watching.